Hi guys, Ace Dude here. Today we're going to be doing another tutorial, and this one is on build tools, or more specifically, this is how you can create your own server that will allow you to put plugins on there from your local machine. Now, a lot of players these days they buy a server host, uh, maybe you know one two dollars a month, and then they get everything set up, and you know that's wasting time because it takes a few weeks at least to get a server going if you want it to go anywhere. So I'm going to show you how to do it all off your own computer where it can be free and you can just work on it by yourself. Now, if you want other players then you can definitely use port forwarding but that is a tutorial for another day. So let's get into it. I'm going to open up Chrome here. I'm going to type in build tools spigot. It's going to be this one here. Now there are a few requirements to do this. Firstly, we're going to go down and it says Git and Java. So we're going to look for the requirement page here, which is Git is here and Java is here. So you can do the latest one, which will always be, and you just click OK here and then you look for whatever OS that you're currently running and then you download it. Now I'm not going to download Java because I've already done so. I've also already downloaded Git, but all you have to do is click it and then it's gonna to start to download. And when you install it, you just have to click next through everything if you want to get more advanced, then you can definitely look at the options that you can do while installing. But for just an everyday user, I recommend just using it normal and just going next, 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 next until everything is downloaded. So we'll get started here. Firstly, what you want to do is you want to download build tools. And that's going to automatically start downloading as well. I have already downloaded it but we'll keep this anyway. So we're going to create a folder here. And this is just on my desktop. You can call it whatever you like. And we're going to drag build tools into here. Now once you've installed Git, you should be able to right click and it's going to bring up these two options here, Git GUI and Git Bash. We're going to click Git GUI and it's going to bring up this folder. Now you notice this is already in the folder that I, that I have. So we're going to look for the command here which is on the page and this is what we want here. So we're going to right click and copy it and we are going to just paste that in and click enter. Now it says unable to find the build tools and that is because It has a one here. And as you can see, it's now going to start downloading all the files that you need. Now this will actually take quite a few minutes, so I've already done it on another folder here for you that you can see. And this is what happens. It's going to download everything. It's going to download Craft Bucket and spigot and because I've done the latest this is going to be the very latest which is currently 1.1.2 1 1.112 sorry now next thing we want to do is we're going to create a batch file so we're going to do a text document we're going to open it I use notepad plus plus you can just use normal note if you want and now we are going to do echo off. XMS. Now what this will do is it's going to allow you to start a server. So that's the minimum. We're going to want to start it at one gigabyte. And for my computer, because I've got a decent amount of RAM, I'm going to give it 4 gigabytes. I'm 
Now this here is going to be what the the jar is called. So if you are doing 1.11 or maybe 1.9.2 you're going to want to change that there. So we've got that and then we're just going to do pause. Now what we need to do here is we need to save as and we're going to change it to all types. That's very important. Make sure it's all types. We're going to call this start dot bat. Now we're going to save that and Notepad++ you can see obviously changes everything there, the colors. Notepad won't do that. So now we've got that done. As you can see there is a start bat now, Windows batch file. So we're going to run that. It's going to stop because we need to accept the EULA. So as you can see it's generated some new files here. We can delete the text document because that has got nothing in it. Open this. Make it true. And we're going to run the start bat again. Now I've got everything just in the default folder here with all this stuff from build tools. Now you don't actually need to do that. You can make another folder inside this if you like and call it something else. But as you can see, it's starting to make a server now. And this is where we have our world folders, or whitelist server properties. We can open the server properties here. We can change everything. And there's going to be no IP because you are running off your local machine. And the good thing about having this, anything that you change is going to be almost instant. So here we've got our plugins folder. So let's just show you the plugin. world edit on there. I'm going to stop the server. You don't have to stop it, but you can if you like. Now we've put world edit on there. Start the server again. And as now we have our world edit folder. So I'm just loading up Minecraft now. We can get rid of all this now. It does have more a lot of information here. If you'd like to set it or set it up from Linux or even Mac, but today we're only going to be doing Windows. So now I have my server. And it's ready to go. Now we can op yourself. All normal commands will work on this. If you've got essentials, then essentials commands will work in there as well. Now joining the server, and as you can see, it says I've joined. And there's our plugin, World Edit. So that's a very simple tutorial there. It shows you how you can set up your own server and make a local, or well, make your local server so you can set it up before you actually go and pay for server hosting. I'd highly recommend you do this because any bugs or any errors in the console will come up and you can see it.
before you bring it to a live server that you actually have to pay for. Any players don't want to join a server that looks bad or it has bugs or any griefing, stuff like that. So you can test everything off your local machine before you get any further. I will be continuing doing more and more videos. If anyone wants me to do a particular plugin, please let me know. I will add all the links that's required in the description. And until then, have a lovely day and I'll speak to you next time.